the moderator of this session is most respected Dr. K. M. George Achen. Logam Muruan Utunoki Kundrikina Uruvenia Theology and Anna, Doctor Father Doctor Kim George and Namkariam, other Hippendero Akul Chalangal Sustikino, other Hippendero Akul Kelkuan Kodichikina, Loga Kusenda Trula, Ella Christova, Sapu, the Brother Thiele and the Vakaparam Kano and the Sadi Chikunda, other Hippes Nehavurum, other Hippurum. Each other like Swagan Jedu, they had a professional tenation again. Jedu Pizakin Mari, Saho the Ringley, and Madare Churukum Ita, Sam Sarichuola. I promise to be very brief because we have very distinguished speakers on stage, and I am simply a moderator. Um, I am very delighted to know that. Some 150 people have traveled uh, from the Kongan community to participate in this great event. So I congratulate them and I wish the community all the best. Uh, first of all, I must tell you that one of the most delightful things for me in the seminary at Kotayam Orthodox Theological Seminary was to be a humble teacher of three distinguished priests from Dhammabar Mission, from the Kongan community. First, it was Ashwin Fernandez, a very fine artist and iconographer, very gifted. And then I had uh, Father David Krashta and uh, Father um, De Sousa, Father Lawrence De Sousa. So he is here, I suppose, uh, leading the choir. Now I, I say this out of great joy because, uh, in a way, I was teaching a few students from the Travancore Cochin area. So these three persons stood up uh, in that little community of Malangara people. That delighted me because that gave me a hope for the future of the church that gave me some idea of how to realize the vocation of the Malangara Orthodox Church. So I am very happy that I am here and uh, these uh, distinguished students are also with us. Secondly, I would like to speak just a few words about the mission of the Malangara Church. Now, Dr. Shashi Tharoor has elegantly brought to us the history of the church, the definition of the identity of our church in the largest setting of the great cultural, religious, linguistic diversity of our nation, India. So I don't need to go to any such things at the moment because he has done it most elegantly uh, so, and eloquently. Now my point is that, as he correctly said, Metropolitan Alvaris and Metropolitan Martheophilos of Bombay, they represent in a way two edges of the mission of the Malangara Church. As he said, one came from outside, the other came from inside. But they created a horizon for the church. Namada Malangara Sabike, Rupudia Chakravadam Sushjavarana, Alvaris Tirimanium, Bombay, Philippos Marteo Philos Tirimanium. Nanurale Kanditilla, Charitram Kedrevulu. Father David Krashta will speak to us about uh, Metropolitan Alvaris uh, in more detail. But I had been a student of Marteo Philos. When I joined the seminary, he was the principal. Uh, only after six months, Father Paul Verghese, later Paulo Osmar Gregorius, came as principal. So I had the, uh, in a way, good fortune to be a student of Mar Theophilos. And of course, uh, with me, there was uh, uh, His Grace Mark Kurilos also. We were classmates the same, in the same batch. One thing I always remember, 
about Mar Theophilos is that when the church sent me out to serve the National Council of Churches and then the World Council of Churches and to such ecumenical organizations, Mar Theophilos was very happy, very happy and he told me, Achen, you should always remember that our church is a very small church, but you can be friends with everybody. Yes, our church is a very small church, but you can be friends with everybody. That was a very precious advice for me, which in my own humble way, I tried to keep it all along my ecumenical work in India and outside India. Because there were moments of tension, moments of conflict, but I remembered this, that my church is a humble, ancient church, apostolic church, but a humble church. But I should be friends with everybody. So I, in my memory, I have no <laughs> incident of quarreling with members of lead, leaders of other churches in terms of doctrine or other concerns. So I pay homage to Martha Philos. And Metropolitan Alvarez, as of course none of us has seen him, but that takes us back to the end of the 19th century and the vision of the Malangara church represented through people like Parimala Thirimeni. That was a very large vision, setting new horizons for the Malangara church. And that is how uh, Metropolitan Alvarez uh, became an essential part of the Malangara church and its vision. And he brought to us the wider church I think that is very important. Jane, Palasalatu, Watam, Watam, and the Lohaku Vijay Ronda, and the Gator Rolla Shemikinam. A Malangara Watam, the Malangara Circle. Watam, you know, is the easiest thing for even children to write. Watam. In most of our alphabets, you have a sign like that. It can be a zero. In India, the Indians discovered a zero in drawing a circle. But it can also represent the universe. The universe is also represented in the, in the circle. So it is your choice. You can be a zero or you can be a universe. In on many occasions, I am sorry to say that many leaders and many people, they, may, they are very faithful people of course, but they chose the, the zero for circle. Uh, and they repudiated the uh, greater vision of the universe in, represented in this circle. But Martha Philos and Maral Varis, they brought to us the large vision of the universe as represented by the Malangara circle. Malangara Vatrate, Namala Churukerade, Churukerade Nana, Enike, Vadare Almarthum Ayat Nangalode, Abeshika Nolode. Oro Sarathi and Chelumpere, Churukan and Nedak and Mare Kanunum. Avri Kayedikim, General Kayedikim. But say, Angani Churukir de, Namada Circle, Bardi Picanum, Adina Namukir under Maharathan Maraya, Aligale, Nedak and Mare Mukilevichu, Adana, Maralvarisum, Mar Teophilos. Yanu Munava the Idre. Enike, Yanipo, Prayoki, Safede, Vadiogamaya, Ella Committee Lilum, and Sayum Daji Vicha the Wonder Pine. Kalakramana Illa the Hai the Wonder. If you come between Yana, remember Ella. England, you are agreeing our prayer big yam. Malangara Safangam in the Lanreke Yane Pavile, it get to Mul Santashmunda and Pogunode. On the under guiding of Narakumbe, I will be very happy when something happens in the near future. The other Kongan community of Ode, Ola every community in the our day, Jenichu Varne, our day, Samskarum, our day, Parshayum, Ariavana, Uriale, Marangar Safiude, Riday and Aite, Natrapulute Aite, Sabazanya the Kadam. Other than name, South Asia, South Asia, and Parimbang, Australia, Vera Nangal Nirta. Our day, Jenichu Varna, Uriale, Namuke, Safiude, Riday and Aite to Vena. Marangara Safiude, America, Kurucho, Europe in a Kurjanipa Parainilla. But say, either andum, Namuke Nalla Yogiraya Adh candidates on Dairunu, Namlavasarum Nashtapati Kalani. Aga Namada 
പ്രജ്യൂഡിറ്റി ഓഫ് ദ കോൺസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂഷൻ നിങ്ങൾ ക്ഷമിക്കണം എല്ലാവരും പോകിട്ടുന്ന കോൺസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂഷൻ്റെ അകത്ത് ഇതിലൊന്നും പ്രൊവിഷൻ ഇല്ല പക്ഷേ മലങ്കര മത്ര പൗരത്തായിക്ക് നിവേദന അധികാരം കോൺസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂഷൻ കൊടുത്തിട്ടുണ്ട് മലങ്കര അസോസിയേഷൻ കൊടുത്തിട്ടുണ്ട് നിങ്ങൾ കോൺസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂഷൻ ഇനിയും തിരുത്തുന്നത് വരെയെങ്കിലും ഈ വിവേചന അധികാരം ഉപയോഗിച്ച് ഇങ്ങനെയുള്ള കാര്യങ്ങളിൽ നടപടി എടുത്തെങ്കിൽ മാത്രമേ മാർ അൽവാറീസും മാർ തെഫിലോസും നമുക്ക് കാണിച്ചു തന്ന വിശാലമായ ചക്രവാളത്തെ സാക്ഷാത്കരിക്കാനായിട്ട് സാധിക്കുകയുള്ളൂ അതുപോലെ അതായത് സഭയിലെ ഒരു എളിയ അംഗം എന്നുള്ള നിലയ്ക്ക് വൈദികനെന്ന് പോലും ഞാൻ പറയുന്നില്ല ഒരു അംഗം എന്നുള്ള നിലയ്ക്ക് ദിസ് വുഡ് ബി എ മൊമെൻറ്റ് വെൻ ഐ വിൽ ബി വെരി ഹാപ്പി വെൻ ദ ചേർച്ച് ചൂസസ് ഈസ് ഷെപ്പേഡ്സ് ഫ്രം ദീസ് പർട്ടിക്കുലർ കമ്മ്യൂണിറ്റീസ് ആൻഡ് റീജിയൻസ് ഇൻ ഓർഡർ ടു എൻറിച്ച് ദ ഡൈവേഴ്സിറ്റി ദ കൾച്ചറൽ ആൻഡ് സ്പിരിച്വൽ ഡൈവേഴ്സിറ്റി of the church ee moonu karyangal mathrame enike ningalodi ipa parayanullu enike 10 minute thannu engilum 10 minute koodilonu njan edukkunnilla valare valare sandosham enike oru karyam undu nammude priyappetta kv mamacha and kv mamanum adu pole sri george guriyanum ibide undu isaac ketchin ibide vannittilla avar moonu pereyum nammale aadarikkunnundu adu valare സമുചിതമായ ഒരു ആദരമാണ് അവർ ചെയ്ത സേവനങ്ങൾക്ക് മലങ്കര സഭ നന്ദി അർപ്പിക്കണം നമ്മോട് സംസാരിക്കാനായിട്ട് പലരുമുണ്ട് നമ്മുടെ ജോസഫ് അറീസ് സാറും ക്രാഷ്ട അച്ഛനും ഒക്കെയുണ്ട് അതുകൊണ്ട് ഞാൻ നിർത്തുകയാണ് ഇത്ര മനോഹരമായൊരു സമ്മേളനം വളരെ കാര്യക്ഷമമായി സംഘടിപ്പിച്ച എൻ്റെ പ്രിയ സുഹൃത്തുക്കളോട് ഞാൻ അങ്ങേയറ്റം നന്ദിയും സന്തോഷവും അറിയിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് എൻ്റെ വാക്കുകൾ അവസാനിപ്പിക്കുന്നു Thank you, Respected Achan, for your motivational words. Now we move on to another message from Reverend Father Lawrence David Crusher, the young aspiring priest from the Bramall community. As you must have seen him singing with the choir groups, he is a blessed singer as well. For your message, please, Father. glory to the trine god your graces dignitaries on the dais especially our principal moderator of this session most reverend dr k m george chan corpus copoi rambachans respected achans deacons organizers brothers and sisters and my dear children today we are commemorating the 134th anniversary of blessed alvaris ma julius archbishop of goa india and ceylon and the 25th memories memorial day of ma theophilos greetings to all on this auspicious day i am indebted to reverend father noel lewis and uh, thanking reverend father abram kuriakos and mr joel de silva for helping me to prepare this paper आमच्या कोंकणी कम्युनिटीच्या सर्वांकी थंयसर उलो दिते आसा दया करण तुम्ही सक्कड येऊन हंगसर येऊन बसायचे आणि सर कार्यांत वाटेली जायचे कित्या आमच्या इगज मत एक पहिल्यान पहिले दिल्ली एक अवकाश जाऊन असा त्या देखून या कार्याक तुम्ही सट्टाने साथ जायचे म्हणून तुमच्या लगी प्रत्येक रीतीनं उलो दिते आसा आय जस्ट अनाऊन्स ए स्मॉल थिंग टू अवर कम्युनिटी The first topic I want to share is regarding why did blessed Alvaris Ma Julius join Malankara Orthodox Syrian Church. Ma Alvaris had good contact all over the world as a journalist. Dr. Russell Pinto, an expert in the journalism of Goa between 1800 to 1900 says, within a week period, Ma Julius was publishing the news in his periodicals all over the world. He was so informative this shows he was well aware of the nooks and corners of the christian uh, christendom mar alvaris found an indigenous church in malankara when he was in search of an alternative to his mother church which had an apostolic lineage free from foreign authority and scope for independent development mar alvaris found ample opportunities in the malankara orthodox church later recommended for the appointment as the vicar apostolic and then as the archbishop 
it's not just the apostolic lineage of malankara church that fascinated ma julius but also its own history of fight with roman catholic and portuguese regime that appeared ma julius here was an indian church that stood against every attempt of uh, subject, uh, subjugation further the patriarchal order for which ma julius was contesting was to retain native clergy and avoid foreign takeover of the churches which had no respect for native ethos and culture this is highlighted in the fact that when saint vatashirin ma dionysius was excommunicated by the patriarch of antioch and challenged the independent status of the church of malankara it was ma julius who took the initiative and leadership to defend the status of the indian malankara metropolitan he along with ivanius declared support through a letter to the malankara metropolitan post his excommunication and convened the meeting at md seminary in a letter to the patriarch of antioch in 1911 along with ivanius later his holiness paulus first he explain his views in seven points the new uh, the knowledge urge for independence and grievance towards the excommunication ma alvarez himself was excommunicated three times created by propaganda bishops of goa ceylon and mangalo in the letter we see quotes from common rules royal courts judgments and language used to reply to the patriarch which makes us believe that ma alvarez was the driving force behind the letter which resulted in the establishment of catholicate in the malankara orthodox church in 1912 in between ma alvarez was in castle rock between 1904 to 1906 history says gopal krishna gokale was also residing there at that time the independent movement of india and the independent movement of the church in goa my might have inspired mar alvarez to take over malankara church independent from the clutches of the patriarch of antioch secondly i want to share a hypothesis regarding the title of archbishop and its status within malankara one of our sunday school teacher asked why our bishop name is so long antonio francis xavier alvare ma julius antonio his name francis xavier the saint of goa will suggest some names and most of the parents would prefer to keep the name according to the saint of goa so the saint of goa kept the second name alvaris in our culture the surname will always be written along with the name here some of the family members also there with the surname alvarez mar alvarez first is the title given by the church appointed by patriarch peter iii of antioch the interesting part is that he was the first archbishop of goa india and ceylon he was the first archbishop of goa india and ceylon why the title of archbishop of given why does it mention julius first which is the more familiar with the titles given to patriarch catholicos and popes and not with bishops and metropolitans in the church probably this is a topic that needs to be greatly studied and researched for many of us who trace our spiritual lineage to that of mar julius the title archbishop was given by the malankara church on purpose somewhere down the lineage they considered it as a separate right or the western right under the mosc malankara orthodox syrian church much like the unit churches that have been received under the jurisdiction of the church of rome but retain their own rituals and practices further it should be noted that 
church of that time was witnessing similar developments everywhere creating union churches under a honorary uh, prelate the title also should be understood in the light of the existing role of archbishop in goa of that time archbishop of goa was the head of the arch diocese of goa and the administrative head of the state in goa also it should be noted that archbishop of goa was elevated as patriarch of the, the east indies this title of patriarch or primate of the east indies was conferred upon the archbishop of goa as a result of a concordat between the holy see and the crown of portugal concerning the link between religious and political aspects of portuguese india known as the pedrado system the title was only honorary unlike the patriarch of eastern church who hold both spiritual and temporal authority so the title given to archbishop mar julius should be understood in the above context the title was honorary but it recognized the context and uniqueness of the christians who joined malankara orthodox syrian church the visionaries and leaders of the church like malankara metropolitan joseph mar dionysius fifth perumala tirumeni vattashara tirumeni had a clear picture that this wing of the church should grow and flourish independently retaining its ethos but under the authority of malankara prelate further the name of the mission was termed as independent catholic mission it is quite interesting that there was no objection in terming it as so such a com uh, compromise should be understood in the fact that a sizable population spread across south india ceylon elsewhere had joined malankara orthodox syrian church which over 70 churches by that time itself we had around 70 churches probably a bigger church now existed outside the malankara in india at brahmavar alone 5000 families joined and on the east coast of india dindigal tutukodi he had uh, we had uh, he had thousands of families in ceylon the numbers are very specific in colombo 3000 families joined and north ceylon more than 10000 families joined along with this in many countries like the philippines great britain america etc independent catholic mission had its contacts and wings our little look uh, lucas achan is here he is doing the uh, ceylon mission sri lanka mission and we are again getting some people over there and we are establishing church also we are we should give a plus to uh, father uh, linu lucas in his uh, efforts with the um, Uh, support of madras diocese dios cross tirmini and the uh, adra i mean uh, the community those who are helping them the malankara church was also witnessing attempts at evangelization after centuries of remaining uh, dormant so receiving such a sizable population would definitely be an opportunity that could not be uh, resisted further the church Uh, open openness to accept renewability as bishop also should be understood in the above context he was consecrated as metropolitan in 1892 at colombo bonamarte church as it was the cathedral of the independent catholic mission cathedral means the seat of the bishop and a center of worship and mission the consecration of mar julius wasn't without obstacle the education and proficiency he had in the church matters was even recognized by charles levin sj the vigar apostolic of kotayam who admitted that his consecration can create troubles for the roman catholic church he raised objection to mar julius consecration through his close associate james dara with whom mar dionysius fifth had close connection In, in spite of this mar uh, mar dionysius fifth diplomatically arranges for the consecration somewhere down the line mar dionysius fifth 
saw in Mar Julius' ability to upset the Roman Catholic Church not only in Goa but also in Kerala. The Malankara Church had now an opportunity to counter the Roman Catholics who had for long had invaded Malankara and creating div uh, division. The point here is very clear that Mar Dionysius wanted to counter the Roman Catholic Church with the establishment of the Archdiocese of Malankara under the leadership of Alvaris Mar Julius. Further, Mar Julius wanted to start a seminary at Brahmava for the independent Catholic mission. It's very important. It should be noted that the Malankara Church had its own full-fledged seminary in Kotayam. The Malankara Orthodox Syrian Church for long didn't even feel the need of starting a seminary elsewhere. The establishment of Stotts at Nagpur, in Nagpur to uh, cater the Okaya region itself has been a matter of much debate. The willingness has been expressed in the letter written by Mar Julius in 1916 replying to Father Koshi wherein he had sought books in Latin for his further studies. States that he, means Mar Julius, had expressed his urge to start a seminary with Father Arzad Norana, but Father Norana did not show any interest as they faced shortage of funds, educated people and needed staff. Mar Julius' interest in a separate seminary shows the independent nature and working of independent Catholic mission. The influx of priests from Goa joining independent Catholic mission had now come to an halt. The mission required now its own members to be tra uh, trained in Western Rite and supply the requirement of the uh, of uh, priests to retain the church churches. For Mar Julius, the World Seminary, though the existence, uh, he knew it cannot be uh, of much help independent Catholic mission given its own ethos and culture needed a separate seminary for its growth and survival. I have a lot many things to share but because of the constraint of the time I am going to conclude with the words thanking uh, for giving me the opportunity uh, our beloved Thirmini is here Elias, and uh, all the organizers I am very grateful also, I thank our Viga General M. C. Matayachan and uh, our big brother Father uh, Ashwin Fernandes is also here. Also, Father Lawrence de Souza, Father uh, Joseph Chaco, Father Marvin de Silva, and all the community members of Brahmava. I take this opportunity, and this is the first stage that which got an opportunity to present our uh, our things in the Malankara Orthodox Church. I, I am very grateful to all the organizers and for giving me this opportunity. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Reverend Father Lawrence, David Krasta for your inspiring words.